Hey everybody, it's a Zach Tack. And guess what's new this episode? Well, actually, it's two things. One, I'm recording this through a coaxial cable instead of RCA. Yeah, no one cares. Okay, second, we're done with this place. And I know I haven't done the 100 coins like I said I was. I was running a little bit behind last week. I guess two weeks ago. So we'll have to come back to the 100 coin star later. But now... We can come over to this side of town. And, uh, yeah, what secrets await for us here? So, it's like the third polluted piranha fight. Fourth. Fourth, actually. That's pretty, uh, crazy. Whoa, it's back. Wow, second phase. I know we are having such a super boss fight right now. So, what do you do here? On the way out! Oh, welcome, welcome! I suppose you are here for that, hmm? Yes, very good. That means I will require 10 blue coins from you. I can exchange those for shine sprites. I'll give you two yes. Would you like me... Would you like to? No. I'm sorry, I couldn't be of service to you. See you next time. Yeah, so this is what we do with blue coins. The inhabitants of this island decide to hog shine sprites for themselves and require you to pay for them with some obscure currency. Yeah, I said that in big words on purpose. And we also, now that we also, now that we know what the blue coins do, it's time we go to the second world of this game. Welcome to Rico Harbor, guys. Episode 1, Gooper Blooper Breaks Out. Okay, so there's really nothing new um, except brand new stage, dang it. So press B to flip this gate. By that, he means these blue panels. Anyway, I, I think you guys are starting to get bored with the last um, world. I was taking my time, definitely. Oh, this guy's funny over here. I want to talk to him every mission. Just one of the blazes in is this stuff. I can't even get my work done. Trust me, that phrase will get really funny soon in the later missions. So there's black goop everywhere, and we uh, we need to figure out where the dang source is. Also, yeah, it it hurts us, so don't go in there. That water is bad for you, kids. So now we have to make our way. Oh wait, skip it. The group is coming out of those crates over there. I'm not sure I've ever seen anything as gross as that. So now what we... So now we can investigate these Lego bricks. That's what I thought they were when I was younger. Um, okay. Grab this. And... This will get weird really fast. I need to change the camera so you see what's going on. He's, uh... It's going through the crates. So we pull the tech tentacle and <laughs> That's very cinematic. I like that. So this is Cooper Blooper, the one millionth boss of this game. And um, basically wants to bring out the goop on his face and pull it on his mouth. However, he won't like that and try to kill you. 
So what you want to do is literally pull off his tentacles, because why the heck not? So he's got to try to flatten you, and that's when you have the chance to pull a te tentacle out. If you spam, he'll automatically try to whack you, so if you ever get impatient, that's what you do. I think we're safe now. So you'll pull up on his mouth, and we're done. Of course not! Why would we be done? So, he's got ink all over his face again, which we uh, discovered is piranha puke. But anyway, that's besides the point. He also sprayed the arena with goop, which I don't know if I've told you this, but you take damage if you are inside the goop for too long. Like Splatoon. So, you wanna just clean up the goop. I think some of those, uh, I don't even know what those are called. I call them jellyfish, like ink jellyfish. I don't actually know what they're called, but um, anyway. They can sometimes come out, so it's best to clear up out the goop. And with that, we're done. And, uh, th he has one pretty big tentacle right there. That shines bright just randomly, and, um, had nothing to do with... Like, just coincidentally fell from the sky after we did that, but it was completely irrelevant to what we just did. But anyway, here, shines bright, yay. So we're going to save and continue. Hey, that only took like seven minutes. I was thinking I was actually doing good for once. I'm clearly still not that good at video games. And what is this? Another goop pile? Somewhere else? Yeah, no, I'm not the plan. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to hold off on that one until later too, right? That's a glitch you could do by uh, starting to hover right from a graffiti M. Blooper Surfing Safari, episode two. So I don't really like this particular episode. It's neat, but at the same time, it's very easy for you to die. So yeah, there's that. So we want to go over here this time and onto these logs and... That's right, I'm Big Daddy of Blooper Surfing. You like surfing? How about Blooper and give it a whirl? Oh, but one thing, Big Daddy waves all liability for accidents. Now hang loose, bud. That's, uh, that's a more grown-up joke that you may not understand until you understand, uh, lawsuits. Anyway, so we have three different bloopers. Green is slow, but easy to control. Yellow is kind of an average... Decent control, decent speed, and this, then pink is really fast but hard to control. So I'm going to go on green because I'm a noob. Which is still actually way faster than I remember. So we want to follow the coins. Also, if you crash into anything, you're dead. I better tell you guys that. Because that's pretty important information. Also, there's a blue coin, but I'm going to get that in the blue coins episode. So then we go into the tunnel. Whoa, -ho, you want to go for a run, bud? Go ahead and jump on one of those bloopers you like best. Go on, show me some super blooper surfing and win yourself a prize. Yeah, so what this guy means is a shine sprite. This is the part where you're probably going to die a lot. This is one of the last shine sprites I got in the game. I was stuck on this for a while. Oh dang it, I hopped over. Also, it's a time limit. Um, shine. So you have to complete this fast. I also hopped onto the wrong blooper. I started the race early. Because yes, you can do this without a blooper. You're not going to win. Well, there's some shortcuts that you can take as Mario, actually. But anyway, I don't think I'm going to win. You need to be, like, pretty fast. I think you need to be under 40 seconds. Don't quote me on that. I actually don't remember. I heard it once and never did again. So, yeah. Nah, all good things. All good things. So that, these turns are kind of scary. Also, 
also bloopers go slower when they're uh, landbound. I think I'm dead. And the bloober disappeared. Pretty weak, bud. That's time's not even worth talking about. Come back after you've conquered the kitty pool. See what he did? Okay, so you don't die. You don't lose a life. But you're literally just kicked out of the stage. You can't reset or anything. Like you could in Mario 64. No, you're, you're just kicked out. At least you don't lose a life. Um, yeah, so we already know what this guy has to say. So I'm not even going to read what he has to say anymore. I literally did it again. And I, okay, at least I went on the yellow this time. But this is the same, this is the same song, different verse sort of ideal here. And like I said, if you hit anything, you die. That is in, in full effect here, and that's why I mainly bring it up. But when you're in Rico Harbor, that's kind of like your warning. Like, don't suck at this game or else. Like that. The, that, the green squid attempt. Wait, what? So it's actually better to die, for whatever reason. Well, I get on the stupid red blooper. Okay, I'm going fast this time, guys. I'm making up for lost time. In the video and on this race. People who thought I was going to speedrun this game are wrong. By the way, there's only one person I know who would probably think that, but... Yeah. I do know one person. I'm not speedrunning this game, for sure. I am too bad at it. Wait, you can't jump when you're on land? Okay, news flash, guys. You can't jump when you're on land. I am very bad at this game. Okay, I'm going on yellow this time. I'm okay, just walk on. Just walk on, guys. Don't jump on. You're probably going to miss by a mile. I really don't understand the collision on these things. Nice guy now. Finally made it to Rico Harbor. Remember this mission? Yeah. Um, no, I'm going to do that lately. I don't want to do... I'm not in the move for 100s. There we go, guys. Um, there we go, guys. Shine is in our possession, so I think it must be 50. 50 seconds. That's what we want to beat. I guess that information isn't really useful now. Might have been useful a while ago, but it's not useful now, so, yeah. And we've already seen that mysterious goop like 15 times, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to go back in for seconds. Well, I guess thirds at this point. The cage shine sprite. Okay, so this... You can do this shine in many different ways, but you have to end up in the same place. You basically have to get either to the bottom of the cage or to the top of it. And the way Nintendo intended for you to do it was to go to the top of it. So that's what I'm going to do. Two. Three. Yeah, I'm taking the intended route. You can do this in many other ways. So feel free to go about this shine in whatever way you want. I'm just showing you the traditional way of going about it. And then you jump onto this pole. Mario wants to go. Ok, 
Okay. There's Nathaniel Scuttlebutt Bandy right there. Uh, okay. So we got these other bloopers. They'll uh, shoot goop at you. Uh, they're generally not that fast, and if you stomp on them, they'll give you one coin. That's about all you need to know about them. I forget which way I'm supposed to go now. Okay, big obvious arrow signs telling me to go over here, so I have no idea that. Well, you made it all the way over here? Hey, by the way, have you spoken to that guy on the roof over there? I don't know who he's talking about. Oh, that guy on the roof. Also, I say I talk to that one guy like every mission. I guess I won't. When it comes to blue points, I'll definitely do that. Okay, now it's telling me to go up. Because that makes sense. Please leave me alone. Okay, that got pretty dark. Like that blooper literally just fell off. At least it's water underneath, but still, that's, uh... It's pretty sad. Also, I don't know why Mario needs to slide down these poles. I really don't. By the way, this is the first time I've ever done this route, like, the shine, the intended way. Because there's, like, way faster ways to do this. And the wind is back, yay. So now, we got the rocket nozzle unlocked in Rico Harbor, yeah. So, these are trampoline platforms? Yeah, enough said, okay. So, now whenever it says up, it literally means up. As in, up. Oh, that was close. Okay, just seem to catch my breath. Um, okay, we're almost there. That wind's going to literally screw me over really great. Oh my goodness! Clutch Gamer! Oh, it's, uh... Trampoline's lost its bounds. Got it. Wee! Okay. And by the way, when I said bottom, I literally meant bottom as in if you could get here, then, uh... Then you could literally get right in. Okay, there we go. We're at 14 shines now, guys. We're we're doing way better than I thought we were. Now, if we could get 15, that means we'll have an average of three shines per episode. That's that's actually kind of sad. <laughs> the secret of Rico Tower. Now, remember what I said. Whenever secret is in the name, that means, like, random mission, okay? You know, I can give out some pretty handy info now and again. Like that wall over there, it's, um, never mind. Yeah, that's gotta be handy in the blue coin mission. This may be too hard for you to wrap your noodle around, but I can tell there's something suspicious about that tower. By the way, how could anyone ever climb that thing? Okay, so what we're going to do is do the literal impossible and go up the tower by doing wall kicks. Because wall kicks will work. Like, I, if Mario 64 has taught me anything, and I know that blue point's so tempting, I'm not kidding. So now we're going into Rico Tower, and bada bing bada boom, Shadow Mario's like 
No. No, boy. So welcome to the third secret level of this game, and by far not the worst one of the game. So, this has got to be pretty straightforward. I'm probably going to fall off now, but who cares? I'm a walkthrougher, and so therefore I have the right to be bad at this game. Even though I claim to be good at it, it's uh, it just comes from being a walkthrough. Can I? Okay, whatever. I'll... Excuse me. Will I be able to... Okay. There we go. 200 IQ strats, guys. Could these things move any slower? Their speed is over negative 9,000. If something's going negative speed, I actually don't think it's moving, but uh, never mind. We're not going to talk about math here. I mean, how could you be not moving any s like slower than not moving? Like, that just doesn't make sense. That's... Yeah, if you haven't been able to tell, I'm like a bit of a math, I'm the math guy in my class, so you look at my math grades and uh, you're gonna be like, oh dang it, I'm watching a nerd on YouTube. Oof. Whoa! Okay, okay. <sighs> ah! Okay, these are actually kind of scary now, because now they decide to move fast. But I didn't want them to move fast anymore. I know, I can't ever get what I want, can I? What was that? What was that? Like, I just fell for literally no... Well, there was a reason. It's because I was stuck on one of those cone things. And then Mario, um, then... Um, got free of that because it was blocking his, um, it was blocking him from going the direction I want him to go, and then, um, there, now I get it on the wall, because wall kicks will work, that, if there's anything Mario 64 has taught me it's wall kicks will work this could be on america's funniest home videos even though i'm in canada but i'm in north america so it should still count anyway um actually that show discontinued in like 2015 yeah. okay okay never mind we're not talking about outdated tv shows right now we're talking about me failing on a very sad level I've lost my dignity. <laughs> okay. The goal. Actually be good at the dang game. What is not allowed? Not be good at the dang game. I know what I said about being a walkthrough earlier. But I don't care anymore. I lied. I have to be good at the game because I'm walkthrough. And if I can't beat the game, well, that just makes me look bad. Then my math grades are probably going to go down because I'm going to be sad at myself. Okay. Oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> This thing ain't getting... What? What? Okay, 
I love how older, like, YouTubers who, like, actually know what they're doing and don't record with a VCR, they usually own, use emulators to emulate the games, so that way they can use safe states. Like, they're like restore points on the Nintendo eShop for older games. Yeah, they use stuff like that, where they can save it literally any time. They, they don't know what pain is. <laughs> It's pain, right here, <laughs> to literally play the game, have to start from the beginning. That's just sad when that happens. Okay. I'm alive! Oh, that was really close. I did a mid-air spin by accident, but it gives me street cred. So I'm not going to be ashamed of that. Okay, the camera. There. This is better. Camera helps make the world go round. Bad joke 2020. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. So now, for everyone's favorite shine sprite, we're going back to the stupid level, so that way we can get the eight red coin star. And won't that be awesome? hit on my way in. That is the definition of sad. And now I have full water and full health. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on, there's two at the top. Getting that one up. That's that's funny how that actually went over pretty well. Okay, sorry that I'm not really talking that much. I'm just scared that I'm going to fall off and make myself look like an idiot on camera. Oh. Side flip, not spin, side flip, please. Okay, okay. You have no idea like how much easier this shine is with the flood. It is so much easier. The hardest part to that whole shine was actually getting in. Okay. I might be going a little over time, but I honestly feel like I owe you guys a little extra because uh, I felt last... Uh, well, not last week's, but the last two weeks video um, was a little on the short side. And, um, yeah, you only get, like, two of these a month. So I might as well make sure that they're jam-packed full of stuff for you guys. I would like to upload a lot more. But the thing is, is I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, okay. Sorry guys, I, as much as I know my way around the stage, I do want to do this the way Nintendo intended it to be played. The way Nintendo intended me to play this level was to go this way. For whatever reason, told me to go this way. So, 
we'll go this way. Because it's the right thing to do. Okay. to the helipad. Yeah. That's a shortcut right there. Welcome to Gooper Blooper Part 2. Even though we automatically got hit. Anyway, it's a, literally the exact same fight, except this time we're in a smaller arena. So, you know, you can't really, uh, there's not as much leg room for this time. But, yeah, there's not much difference. It's literally the same fight, but this time I think you have to pull that thing out a little longer. He also, yeah, he comes back again. It's not really much of a shocker anymore to anyone. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Anyway. Pull one. Spray him again. So you can't grab his mouth unless you clean it off because this looks like oil and oil is slippery. Trust me, I would know. Don't ask. Okay, so now I believe we're done the fight, right? Yeah. This time he has two big boy tentacles just dangling. And then he disappears into nothing when he hits the water. And then a shine sprite comes out of the volcano again because it's... Totally how the game works. So even though that wasn't as much overtime as you guys may have wished for, I'm going to have to end it off here because this is a decent place to end it off. So anyway, I guess with that being said, I was Zach Tack, and I'll see you over the next, in another two weeks. Till next time, zabai.